Welcome to my new video. I'm going to recap one of my early hand engraving projects designed and executed in 2015. No videos recorded, only pictures archived. My finger got hurt recently while doing goldsmithing, so I think some light computer work might be just fine for me at the moment. Okay, let's get back to our today's topic. This is a traditional Chinese pendant called Lucky Jade. It is usually made of jade, but I use sterling silver as base metal and 24 karat gold for the inlay. The design of backside of the pendant is a kind of precious and uh, immortal flower named Po Face Flower in the eyes of Chinese. The front side is even more Chinese traditional, dragon and phoenix, along with their postures. I did make some modifications on details of the couple's design, like dragon's facial expression its body intertwining with cloud, phoenix fur details, and overall three-dimensional looking. I chose wax carving and cast to make the basic part of the pendant. The estimated weight of the silver pendant is around 50 grams based on the wax weight. It definitely will feel pretty solid and heavy on the neck. Now the pendant is casted and design is sketched. I didn't know how to transfer images to metal at that time. So I just print the image on the transparent sheet at exact the same size with the pendant and cover it on the metal. Punching dots to position important lines, then link each line together to complete the image. It was really, really time consuming and low efficiency. This picture shows outline of the design is engraved. The next step is to carve out pits for gold. Unfortunately, I did not take any pictures during the process of gold inlay. It was regular metal inlay. I believe you can find various methods online. The pendant is only 4 cm in diameter, so make any body parts on dragon and phoenix gold will be inappropriate. Like eyes, claws, and furs, it will be either too small or too big of area for gold inlay purpose which is to attract eyes to golden part and make the whole design more balanced and interesting to enjoy. Although in this case, I don't want to make cloud the focusing element, but it did balance the whole picture and is just the right size. Engraving the back side and blacken the lines by pickling the whole piece in silver blackening solution. Then polishing the surface back and leave the cuts black. This is me engraving and gravers with different geometries. Almost done. Removing and stippling the background. Adding details. It is completed by now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.